You mean to tell me Jesus is in the Old Testament? Well, hey, welcome to today's Daily Dose. Let's answer that question. You see, most people look only to the New Testament Scripture to discover Jesus. But did you know that Jesus is also in the Old Testament? In fact, the theme of the entire Bible, Genesis, all the way through Revelation, it's all Jesus. You know, we just started a one-year survey of the New Testament called Mission 27 here at Evident Life Church. And, and we ran right into the truth that Jesus is all over the Old Testament. You know, He's actually the fulfillment of it all. As it says in Matthew 5.17, Jesus declared that in Matthew 5.17. You see, Jesus helped us understand this when in the Gospel of John 5.46, He answered the challenge of some religious leaders with this statement. He said, If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. You see, according to Jesus, everything God has been doing with and for mankind since the very beginning of time, it's all been pointing to him. That's amazing. So is this how we read our Bibles? Is this how you read the Bible? Do you read your Bible looking for Jesus? Do you read Genesis looking for Jesus? Do do you read the Psalms looking for Jesus? Do you read the prophets looking for Jesus? He's there. Jesus is there. He's the whole point of it all. So Matthew, in his Gospel, He made it a point to highlight this fact um, that that what was presented in the Old Testament was actually fulfilled in Christ Jesus. You know, as many as 300 Old Testament prophecies all point to Jesus. And they were all fulfilled by Him in His life and ministry right here on this earth. Prophecies about His unique birth, like we are reading about in Matthew. That prophecy, that prophecy was fulfilled in his birth. The prophecy was from Isaiah 7, 14. And, and, and things also highlighted in Matthew and the gospel are prophecies of his earthly ministry that have been fulfilled by Jesus. Even the way Jesus would die, which was described ahead of time in Psalm 22, lets us know that Jesus is all over the Old Testament because it's all about him. Remember, all Scripture, all Scripture is His story, history, His story, the story of Jesus. Much of what is presented in the Old Testament, they're actually what are called types and shadows, foreshadows of Jesus. In other words, a lot of things in the Old Testament were there as representations of Jesus that were designed to be kind of like almost placeholders until He would come onto this earth. And they were designed, these types and shadows were designed to show us what Jesus would look like when He comes so that we would look forward to His coming and also be able to recognize Him when He did show up. For instance, let's just think about the Jewish tabernacle. The Jewish tabernacle is a type It's showing us aspects, actually, of Jesus. You know, it's said, and and, and I was reading this week, that the altar in the courtyard of the tabernacle symbolizes our need for Jesus, for Him to sacrifice and atone for our sins. The, The labor shows that Jesus is providing the water of life to mankind. And that was spoken of in John 4, 14. Inside that holy place, you have the lampstand, which is suggesting that Jesus is the light of the world. Again, that's in the Gospel of John chapter 9. And the table of the showbread is Jesus being represented. It's a representation, it's a type, it's a foreshadowing of Jesus being our bread of life, the bread of life, as spoken of in the Gospel of John chapter 6, verse 35. In the altar of incense, Jesus is seen as our heavenly intercessor, continually offering prayers on our behalf. According to Hebrews 10.20, that veil in the tabernacle, 
That veil before the Ark of the Covenant is a picture of Jesus' human flesh that would be torn for us. Check this out. You know, there were also actual recordings in the Old Testament of Jesus actually really physically showing up, not simply prophetically or, or a foreshadowing. These times that Jesus actually would show up are called Christophanies. They're, they're, they're this pre-incarnate appearance of Jesus right here on this earth. That's pretty astounding. That's, that's amazing. Remember when the Lord appeared to Abram? It's found in Genesis chapter 18. And it says this, that the Lord appeared to Abram near the great tree of memory while he was sitting at the entrance to his tent in the heat of the day. You see, this was a Christophany, a pre-incarnate appearance of Jesus on this earth. Again, amazing. Amazing. It's supernatural. But remember, God is super above the natural. And God is going to be God. He's sovereign. He's, he's going to accomplish His will and He's going to do it His way. And we find other Christophanies throughout the Old Testament in books like Daniel, in Judges, in, in 2 Kings, and, and many more Christophanies right there in the book of Genesis. The pre-incarnate Jesus showing up, appearing on this earth that He created. Bottom line is Jesus is everywhere in the Bible, both New Testament and Old Testament. It's all about Him, and it's all pointing us to Him as our Savior, the Savior of the world. Isn't God good? So here's my encouragement. As you read God's Word, always, I mean always, be on the lookout for Jesus. It, it, it will make your time in the Bible so much richer. And with that, let me just end by saying, be blessed and read God's Word. Keep your eyes on Jesus.